Hi, this is Amy Seary, your IT coach, here with a new tech tip on how to use the rubber stamp tool within Active Inspire to clone objects that you're able to move. This is great for sorting and counting. The first thing I did was actually go online to Promethean Planet to find a flip chart that I'd like to use. In this case, I found one on US Money. Coins are a great thing to use for with the rubber with the rubber stamp tool. So I downloaded it and saved it to my computer and opened it in Active Inspire. And here we go. US Money. And this flip chart actually has some great images of coins. Now I was able to find on Promethean Planet a resource file on money. Unfortunately, this one only had quarters, nickels, and some the new notes and bills that are available. So it didn't have pennies or dimes. So I needed to add pennies and dimes to my resource library. To do that, I can come up here, create a new folder. I'm going to name it Coins. Make sure There. There we go, coins. And right now you can see that it's empty. So my coins that I'm going to add are in this area. Now right now I'm in presentation mode and these are locked, so I'm not able to move them. So I'm going to get out of presentation mode, go into design mode, and now I'm able to move them. Now a few things you need to think about when you're doing this is it's going to save it just as it is. So it'll save it this size and it's locked so it'll save it locked as well so i'm going to unlock it and i'm going to make it a little bit larger and then just drag it over and at this point i can rename it right now it says resource i'm going to rename it penny face you could do the same thing with the Tail. Make sure it's about the same size. Remember, unlock it. And penny tail. Okay, so I would do continue to do that with the, all the coins that I want to add and add them into the coin library here. Now, how do we use the clone stamp tool? Well, I'm going to come to a clean page to show you that. So the stamp tool is right here in your browser window. All you have to do is click on it, click on the image you want to use, and now you've got that image. You can add the coins anywhere you'd like to use them or whatever image you're repeating. Now, many times you want just for it to look like there's one coin there, but it becomes a bank where students can pull from. In that case, all you have to do is click and keep clicking in the same spot. And as you can see, it doesn't look like I'm adding any, but in fact, I am. So let's see what that looks like in presentation mode. In order to get out of the clone stamp tool, notice if I click on that, it doesn't do anything. So in order to get out of this, you need to click on the cursor over here. And I'm going to go into presentation mode. And let's see if that works. Look at that. And so you can imagine me having all my coins down here, telling a student how much money I'd like for them to show, uh, or sort, or regular counting using the clone stamp tool. And that's it for today. Thank you very much.